The dark truth of Solvay. In the late 1800s, a young Belgian chemist named Ernest Solvay had a vision. He wanted to revolutionize the chemical industry by producing soda ash in a more efficient and cost-effective manner. It was a lofty goal, but Solvay was determined to make it a reality. Soda ash, also known as sodium carbonate, was in high demand during this time for various industrial applications. It was used in the production of glass, paper, soap, and even textiles. The problem was that the current process for producing soda ash was expensive and inefficient. Solvay, who had studied chemistry in college, believed he had a solution. He began experimenting with different chemical processes in his backyard, using only a small laboratory and limited resources. At first, his experiments yielded little success. Solvay struggled to find a way to produce soda ash on a large scale without it being cost prohibitive, but he didn't give up. He continued to tinker with his ideas and seek out new funding opportunities. In 1861, Solvay received a patent for his invention, the Solvay process. The process involved using salt, limestone, ammonia, and coke to produce soda ash. It was a breakthrough in the chemical industry, and Solvay knew it. But he still had a long way to go. Securing funding for a full-scale plant was difficult, and many people were skeptical of Solvay's ideas. But Solvay persisted, eventually convincing a group of investors to support his vision. In 1863, Solvay built his first full-scale plant in the town of Charleroi, Belgium. It was a risky move, as the plant was expensive to build, and there was no guarantee it would be successful. But Solvay was confident in his process and his ability to make it work. The plant was an instant success. It produced soda ash at a fraction of the cost of the previous methods, and it did so with much less waste. Solvay's process was also more environmentally friendly, as it emitted fewer pollutants and used few resources. Word of Solvay's success quickly spread, and soon other companies were trying to replicate his process. But Solvay remained one step ahead, continually refining and improving his methods. By the end of the 1800s, Solvay's company had become a major player in the global economy. It had operations in Europe, North America, and Asia, and was producing millions of tons of soda ash each year. Solvay himself had become a wealthy and influential figure, and he used his resources to support philanthropic causes. He founded the Solvay Institutes for Physics and Chemistry in Brussels, which are still renowned institutions of higher learning today. But despite his success, Solvay was not without his flaws. He was known for being demanding and sometimes difficult to work with. And as his company grew, it became more and more powerful, raising concerns about its impact on the environment and workers. In the years that followed Solvay's death in 1922, the company continued to expand and diversify. It entered new markets, such as plastics and pharmaceuticals, and became a multinational conglomerate with operations in over 60 countries. But the dark truth of its past still lingers, a reminder of the cost of progress and the dangers of unchecked power. The rise of Solvay is a cautionary tale of the price of success. While Solvay's innovations changed the world, they also came at a great cost. The Dark Truth Despite the company's success, its methods of production were wreaking havoc on the environment. Solvay's factories released toxic chemicals into the air and water, poisoning the local ecosystem and causing countless health problems for the town's residents. For years, Solvay denied any wrongdoing and fought against efforts to regulate its operations. As the environmental and health consequences of Solvay's actions became impossible to ignore, the company embarked on a campaign of cover-up and denial. They paid off scientists and politicians to downplay the severity of the pollution and discredit those who spoke out against them. They even went so far as to intimidate and threaten local activists and journalists who tried to expose the truth. One person who refused to stay silent was a former Solvay employee named Marco. Marco had worked in the company's chemical division for years, and he had seen firsthand the damage that Solvay was causing to the environment and the people of Rossignano. Despite the risks, he decided to blow the whistle on his former employer and expose the dark truth of Solvay. Marco's revelation sparked a public outcry and a government investigation. Solvay was forced to pay millions in fines and clean up its operations, but the damage had already been done. The people of Rossignano continued to suffer from the effects of Solvay's pollution, and many lost their homes and businesses as a result. Today, 
Solvay continues to operate around the world, but the legacy of its dark past lives on. The company has made some strides towards environmental sustainability, but many believe that they have not done enough to make amends for the harm they caused. The story of Solvay serves as a cautionary tale of the dangers of corporate greed and the importance of holding companies accountable for their actions.